Now that you've got all the air out of the bladder, and that's probably the hardest part about doing this is getting all the air out of the bladder, but you push it out, get it nice and flat. Um, this is a new cylinder that you're going to use to rearm it. I'm going to put that aside right now. But there's fold lines printed on the bladder so you can follow the directions. So the first one says fold under here, fold under, like so, and then fold under here, number two, and keep these uh, two ties open. Don't tie those off because when it inflates you want those to be open so you can put the bladder on over your head easily tie a bow in it or something, it might be a little bit hard to put on. Fold under number three. So, fold under one number four. And fold under number five. And this is when you get to find out whether all the air is out of the bladder or not. Okay. So, you can see that your cord and your tab for using the jacket wants to come out here from the end of the pack. So you're going to put it in that cord leading out. So push that in there and line up the Velcro. And the side comes open. Make it like so. Seal it up. So that the cord is out of the end, tailing out. And then you're going to take your new cartridge. So you can see that the window is red. Red means dead. That was this one that we used before. So you want to push up the yellow lever, take the bayonet, insert it, and turn. You can see how the window now is green. Green means go. Green means good. And what's nice about the fluid pack is that we have a handy indicator window right here so that you can tell at a glance that your pack is armed or not. So if it's red, it's not going to work. You want to make sure that the indicator window shows green, just like this. That means go, that means good. Let's put it on. smaller than me was using this before. And you're ready to go.